Okay, so moving on in our course, now we're going to do our third exercise where we're going to review many commands that we've already seen in exercise 01 and 02, which are the commands multiple line, linear dimension, center line, circle, and mirror. So guys, to start the drawing, we go to the new drawing environment and start with the command multiple lines and start the drawing from the origin. Because the drawing is symmetric, we'll draw half of the geometry, and then we'll use the command mirror to do a mirror operation. Starting then to do the lines and giving the orientation with the mouse, we close the first half of the drawing. Finishing the first half, click in Finish, and then set the dimensions positions by clicking in the places we want the dimensions to be. We already gave the values of the lines, so now we just have to confirm and set the dimensions positions. We'll delete a couple of dimensions to let the detailing be exactly like in the ref reference image later. Then we select the geometry to operate the command mirror. And just to remember, we choose the option geometry in the selection to select just the geometry and not the dimensions and text. We'll also keep the option keep base. Otherwise, the reference geometry will be deleted. After operating the command, we join the top and bottom lines. Okay, got it? So now we're going to do the three circles of the drawing by using the command circle and selecting the option relative point to reference the center points, just like we did in exercise two. So we click in the option relative point and click in a point to reference the XY axis reference to the center of the circle. We open the reference lines and click at any point to create the XY dimensions and click again to create a diameter value. Then we set the axis values, the diameter of the circle, which is 10 in the y-axis and 20 in the x-axis. The diameter is 10. We use the same steps to do the other circles. Then we create all the three double center lines of the circles by clicking the command center line, selecting the option double, and selecting the O-snap point center point of the circles. Finishing the drawing, we'll use the command line and point dimension to finish the detailing just as the reference image. In order to set the distance between centers of the circles, we can use the O-snap points, center point, or quadrant as reference points. Well guys, that's it for today. Remember to subscribe, click the notification bell to receive our alerts for our weekly training videos. 